Hello friends, I am Dr. Shweta Saxena, IVF and infertility specialist, high risk pregnancy expert at Sunflower Women's Hospital. Today I will tell you about embryo freezing, cryopreservation and blastocyst culture. Embryo freezing, the word itself suggests that the embryos are frozen, that is they are not transferred in the same cycle and they are frozen for further use. Cryopreservation or freezing is done for several advantages. The first advantage means because in the fresh cycle the estrogen levels are very high and there is endometrial advancement because of which the chances of pregnancy will be lesser and as there will be embryo endometrial asynchrony. So we froze, freezing all the embryos helps in such situations. Plus there is prevention of a complication known as OHSS, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. So in freezing all the embryos the chances of OHSS are not there and what we can do is transfer the embryos in the subsequent or the next to next cycle. At the same time the procedure safety is enhanced and the success rates are higher. Success rates are almost 60 to 70 percent in frozen cycles and as compared to the fresh cycles which are only 50 to 60 percent. Blastocyst culture. Blastocyst means a day 5 embryo. A day 5 embryo will survive in the lab in which there are excellent culture conditions. We at Sunflower Women's Hospital have a very high tech modular lab with triple gas incubators, CO2 incubators. So the culture conditions are excellent. So the newer approach in IVF is cryopreservation, growth of the embryo till day 5 which means blastocyst, blastocyst culture and then transfer of single blastocyst in the uterine cavity. This makes the procedure safe and the results are excellent. Thank you.